Man fully alive is the glory of God. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel passage, we read about Jesus casting out the evil spirit from the Gerasene demoniac. In his mercy, Jesus casts out the unclean spirit from him. This incident shows us the wretched condition of human beings who are estranged from God as well as the great mercy of God through which we are made whole. A human person created in God's image and likeness is indeed the crown of God's creation. God has endowed him with the gifts of intellect and will, thus making him capable of using these gifts to serve God and the community, as well as for his own benefit and betterment. Moreover, human beings are social beings. They can find fulfillment only by living in relationship with others. We read in Psalm 8 verse 4 to 6, What are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. Contrary to this goodness and beauty which God has ordered, we have the ugliness of sin. Sin is nothing but estrangement from God. It robs us of our dignity as children of God, takes away our peace of mind, and causes us to behave like people without self-control, like animals. Through sin, we end up ultimately harming our own selves and find ourselves estranged from society. We see this illustrated in the Gerasene demoniac, who behaved like a wild animal, who was continually harming himself and who was estranged from his society. The good news is that it is Jesus, the Son of God, who can take away evil and sin from our lives. While man in his sinful state is wretched and miserable, Jesus comes to bring us wholeness and healing. The Easter liturgy triumphantly proclaims, O truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O happy fault that earned for us so great, so glorious a Redeemer. And St. Paul writes, Where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. St. Irenaeus tells us that man fully alive is the glory of God. The Gerasene demoniac was living among the tombs. He was living the life of a dead man. Christ comes to give us life in all its abundance. After casting out the unclean spirit, Jesus tells the man to go home to his people and tell them about what God has done for him. He restores him to the company of others, enabling him to live a dignified and wholesome life. We read in the first letter of St. John chapter 3, verse 8, Everyone who commits sin is a child of the devil. The Son of God was revealed for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. Let us ask Christ to remove all sin from our lives, so that we may live with the dignity of the children of God. <laughs>